everyone, Heather here with Time Clock Hub. In this video, I'll be showing you how to generate payroll. On the left menu of your dashboard, click on Payroll to open the payroll screen. At the top of the page, you'll see a few options that you can use to generate payroll. You can filter by location, so where employees are scheduled to work, by job, so what positions employees work, by clock-in location, where employees clock in from, and by pay type, which will depend on the structure of your company. The drop-down menu here will change depending on which pay type is selected. For example, since weekly is selected, you'll see the previous weeks in this menu. But if month is selected, the menu will change accordingly. There is also an option to select a custom pay type, which will allow you to manually enter a pay period range. Let's say I'd like to generate a weekly payroll for May 15th to May 21st. I'll select weekly in the pay type, choose the week, and then click on generate payroll. The system gives me an error message saying that the payroll has already been generated, which is true. Scrolling down to the payroll list, I can see that payroll was indeed generated for this week. Any payroll previously generated will be displayed in this list, including other information such as the filters that were selected, totals for hours and wages, who generated the payroll, and when. You will also have the option to delete a payroll or print it. Going back to the top of the screen, I'll instead select June 5th to June 11th. Again, I receive an error, but this time, the system is notifying me that not all timesheets have been submitted. There are some shifts without end times. This means that there are some employees who are still clocked in. If you're generating payroll at the end of the current week, all employees must be clocked out so that the system will have all of the totals needed. Now, let's say that I'll be taking time off for the next week starting tomorrow, but I'd like to pay my employees through today. I can select Custom for the pay type and then enter June 5th to June 10th as the start and end dates. Then I'll click Generate Payroll. A window will pop up displaying any possible errors that the system has detected. If this is an error, you can edit the shift in the Timesheet tab, but if all looks well, you can click on Generate Payroll. You'll receive a notification that payroll was generated and it will also appear in the payroll list. You can also delete a payroll if needed. Deleting a payroll does not delete any timesheets or employee records. It will only delete the payroll that was generated. To print the report, click on the printer icon. The report will display on a new screen where you can select a format type and then click Export. For this example, I'll select PDF and then click Export. When I open the file, you'll see the payroll report, including totals, whether overtime is calculated, and shifts by each employee per day. If you have any errors while generating payroll, make sure to check your business settings. On the left menu of your dashboard, hover over Settings and then click on Business Settings. Then click on the Payroll and Overtime tab. The first setting that you'll want to check is the one that says what was the date of the last day of your last pay period? For our example, since we're generating payroll for the week of June 5th, the date needs to be June 4th or before. Additionally, you can use these settings here to set up any overtime that your company offers. Based on these settings, overtime is available and can be applied to all of my employees. However, if you'd like to designate different overtime options for each employee, you can do so in the Employees Profile. On the left menu of the dashboard, I'll click on Employee to open the Employee List. As an example, all of my employees have the option to receive overtime, except Trina, so I'll click on her name to open her profile. Then I'll click on the Payroll tab. Here you can set any payroll and overtime settings. These will override what is designated in the Global Business Settings menu. For Trina, she does not get paid for breaks and she does not have the option to receive overtime benefits. Once you're finished, make sure to save your new settings. So if you have any errors while generating payroll, you'll first want to check your global settings. However, if you notice errors that are specific to one employee, review the payroll settings in their profile. 
That's the overview on how you can generate payroll. Of course, if you have any questions, you can click on the question mark icon on the top right to access a tutorial of each page. You can also contact us through the chat window on the bottom right, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.